what's going on, the Beat Express 2 coming at you with our recap video from this past Friday night. Uh, awesome, awesome night, had a blast. Uh, we went through three cases of exquisite, exquisite football and a case of Bowman Inception Baseball. Really, really fun night, some really nice cards pulled, some big, big randoms on the night. It was a, a lot of fun. We started the night actually with a case of Inception, so a lot of people still excited about Inception, very, very deep draft, so even if you end up with the uh, last pick, you're going to end up with a couple of very good teams. Uh, this particular case was not nearly as good as our other two opening week. That being said, that's kind of what I've seen uh, so far as some of the cases are, uh, I, I don't want to use the word mediocre, but average. And some of them are really, really good. So we'll keep trying on Inception. Uh, once again, it's a deep checklist, some really, really nice cards. In any event, we'll get on to the recap. First off, again, I just pulled some random stuff. Brad Miller, Tyler Austin, Matt Olson, Max Fried, Freed, Padres, Ronald Guzman, Jesse Biddle, J.O. Barrios for the Twinkies, Kevin Gosman, Orioles, David Dahl, Jonathan Singleton, Redemption for a Mike Olt, Redemption for a Billy Hamilton, Mr. Oscar Tavares, on to some numbered stuff, few of them, Darren Ruff, Phillies to 75, He's going right, yep. Jorge Bonifacio, number two, I believe 99. Uh, Huck Julie, not numbered. Triple Jersey Relic Auto. Uh, Giordano Ventura, Royals Relic Auto. Nick Castellunos, Relic Auto, not numbered again. Uh, Relic Base Redemption Nationals, Anthony Rendon. Number 250 for the Twins, Mr. Miguel Sano. Real nice card there. And then last but not least, a Bowman Black Auto. These are really sweet looking cards. Jose Fernandez. And that is number 25. So none of the real big, well I shouldn't say that. Tavares is in there, Sano. Uh, Fernandez isn't all that bad. So all in all, I'll give it an average case. But like I said, we'll keep trying. I think it's... Uh, a deep checklist, lots of autos, and a fair price still. On to the three cases of Exquisite. Three cases of Exquisite. Again, if you guys don't see your cards in here, I've just randomly pulled some stuff. Here we go. Number 99, Ryan Lindley. Josh Gordon. Ruben Randall. That's the 75 on Randall. This one's number 260 of Joe McDonald. Or I'm sorry. Holy fail. I wasn't even close. Joe Washington. My apologies. Number 75, Daryl LaMonica. 75, Warren Moon. These are cool. The black signatures to 65, Paul Horning. Love these cards. Art signatures, number 215. A little hard to see the auto, but a favorite auto of many, Jerome Bettis. Let's see if I can get in a little closer. Kind of hard to see it with the black auto, but sweet card there. Love this card. Unfortunately, it's not like a game used patch. It's an event patch. Nonetheless, pretty cool. Uh, number two of three of Daryl LaMonica. Very, very sweet. On to some shadow boxes. We got Travis Benjamin. We've got Ken McAfee. Bad glare, I apologize. We have Mr. Andre Ware, signed with 89 Heisman. Mr. Jim Kelly. Again, the autos in person are much easier to see if you guys are debating on whether you want to get shadow boxes or not. It's the glare. 
And then the last shadow box, which was our best one, was number 260 as well, and that is Mr. Jerry Rice. On to more. We have Mr. A.J. Jenkins, Relic Auto in the black. To 99, Mr. Isaiah Pede, Relic Auto. Regular black to 65, Mr. Alshon Jeffrey. Definitely a very nice card here to 65, Mr. Russell Wilson. On to, like I said, some epic randoms. Uh, we've got a lot of duels. So here we go. we got Johnny Latner and Warren Moon. Michael Floyd, Earl Campbell. This is a cool one here. Herschel Walker, Doug Flutie. Really cool duel. I like this duel. Earl Campbell and Bo Jackson. Very sick. Another really cool one here. Bart Starr, Joe Namath. RG3, Ryan Tannehill. And probably the biggest random, because it was a four-way random. Nobody had two teams on here. RG3, Ryan Tannehill, Trent Richardson, and Doug Martin. And that is number two, ten on that card. Very, very sick card. I'm trying to think if I remember. I think the Bucks took that one home off the top of my head. Uh, on to some RPAs. I will let you know there was one RPA that was taken home, and it is gone. It is a duplicate of these RPAs, but here we go. To 150, Case Keenum. To 150, Devier Posey. 150, Tease, Nick Toon. This is a two-color, number to 150, Kirk Cousins. The duplicate was a duplicate of this next card. Number 250, just like the other one, also number 250, Mr. Brock Osweiler. The Osweiler that went home was part of the nameplate. This one is a real nice three color. Again, they're both numbered to 50, so very nice RPAs. But definitely the hit of the break came in the last case. I picked the wrong case, and I'm trying to think who the other one. Somebody else picked the wrong case. Because the Redskins were taken in all three breaks at number one. Congratulations, the doctor, Mr. Dr. JD, RG3. Real nice three color auto, and that one is number 299. So, very, very cool. Very, very nice stuff. Uh, really cool checklist. Obviously, there's still the Archie Griffins, the Mike Roziers. They got to sprinkle some of that stuff in there, but there's all collectors out there for that stuff. In any event, though, that is the recap of three cases of Exquisite and a case of Bowman Inception. Already starting to look forward to next week. We'll definitely be on the Exquisite run. Uh, also, in my head, I've got a mixer, a high-end mixer, potentially covering all three high-end products. Upper Deck's high-end, Panini's high-end, and Top's high end. So stay tuned for that. That may happen this week. It may not, but uh, it is there and it's a possibility. But appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you guys had a wonderful 4th of July. Can't believe my four day weekend is coming to an end. Bummer. Take care everybody. Have a good one. Peace.